MachineTutorials.com. Hey, what's good? It's your boy Knock back with you once again. What's up, world? Uh, today, just bringing a little short video for those people that have Logic Audio and they use Machine with it. You know, with the new 1.8 uh, update for Machine, you can actually have what they call split mode where you can have machine loaded as a plugin and you could either use it in controller mode or you could take it out of controller mode while it's a plugin and record into machine still and the DAW will sync with what you have going on in machine it's kinda of dope anyway let's go ahead and set this up uh... we're gonna bring up the control editor native instruments control editor if you don't have that you should check your service center it should be in there the latest uh... actually the latest version click controller make sure it is as of this video 1.51 1, 1 is the one that you want to get. Uh, it could be if, whatever whatever's in your service center that should cover it. You know when you go in there because they always keep it up to date. So uh, what we're gonna do is we have it open. We're gonna go scroll down. We're gonna go to Mackie Control. And if you don't happen to have that, click Edit and go down to Append and then click down to you see Mackie Control. So you have that there. You guys have to excuse me. I'm still getting over that cold from the last video. But anyway, you have that there. And you want to, this will be unchecked first time you load it. You want to hold, uh, click host transport control. Boom. Now you got that loaded. You want to bring up logic and let's set it up so it'll sync. Let's go to logic. Let's go to logic and then uh, preferences, preferences and control services and setup. And what we're going to do now, we're going to click new. Once setup comes up, we're going to click new, install. We're going to scroll down to where it says Mackie. Designs Mackie Control, Logic Control. Same one you see right here in the video. I'm going to click Add. Once we come out of that, I'm going to click right here where it says Input. Make sure it says MIDI Import Input Port Zero. Boom. Now you're all set up. Now, as you can see, machine is in control mode right now. So if I were to hit something, actually it controls the uh, transports. play even goes into record now you notice it's recording the record button is lit on logic you want to hit the erase button to stop it you can actually see the controls what they would look like right here when you have it in this mode so this is play this right here top button usually restart will start the click button the click track so you can hear it. Plus playing, just click. So that's cool in itself. Now what you want to do up if you don't want to have it in controller mode, hit shift and control. And now I have an 808 kit loaded. You notice these buttons right here. When I hit this now, it's gonna be it won't hit it won't record in logic, it'll record into machine. But the play button still works. Take it out of the click mode, erase, it stop, hit it twice, go back to the beginning, forward, backwards. Kind of cool, I like that. So, but you notice it's not in controller mode. So I can just, you know, play something and loop it. You know, it's for, uh, let's get a pattern going, actually, uh, two bar loop. And it's actually looping, I have it looping two bars on uh, Logic. So I can just hit start, excuse me, hit start and just hit the record. Shift, quantize. Now this is recorded into machine. Oh, get it. I get down, huh? That's how they used to do in old school. You rap. Rah! Had to have one of those in your song, though. Anyway, take it out of record mode, in record mode, stop, back to the beginning, forward, rewind. The erase button is always a stop because this joint can get fast. The more, the more you click it, the faster. Like I could click this, rewind, and it goes faster and faster each time you click it. So you hit that erase button, take it back to the intro. And that's pretty much it. You can, it, it, it takes some getting used to because I'm not used to working like this, I'm used to having it in controller mode. And but it definitely is cool. Once you get that, once you get the feel of it down, 
you could just start rolling, you know, and have it looping. Go and record this. Stop. Go back to the beginning. take this loop off, you know, of course, machine, of course, it'll just continue to play. And just keep looping. And you might have something else open in logic, you know, when you're playing it, you want to play something else. And he'd say, I want to run transports, you know, just hit play. Like I said, it takes some getting used to, but, uh, you know, like with everything, same as when you learn a machine. Once you master it, you'll be blazing fast. You know how it is. You know, it's just it's just repetitive. Gets you more used to what you're doing. So it gets you more used to that habit of having it come quicker to you. All right? If that makes any sense. Anyway, I hope this helps some of y'all to have logic. And, uh, you know, you can pretty much uh, apply this to other DAWs also. But I'll focus on the logic one this time because I saw somebody ask that question about that. So I hope this video helps. I will talk to y'all later. Everybody, one love. Out.